Hi, I'm Matt, this is my channel Sawdust Passion, and today I'm making a shoe rack. When I was coming up with a design for the shoe rack, I remembered Tamar Hanna's video where she used dowels for draw slides, and I really liked the aesthetic. So on to the build. First off, I'm going to cut the sides and legs to size. I'm cutting a few millimetres off the first end to make sure that it's a clean cut. Next I measure the length required and set up a stop block so I get consistent cuts. I do the same for all four legs and rails. Now to mark out the rails, I'm drawing in the width of the rail and then marking the centre of each hole. Now drilling each hole using the drill press with a forster bit that's the same diameter as the dowel. Now I'm using the table saw to cut all the pieces to find the width, which for the rails will be between the holes. So I've now got four legs and four rails. I'm gluing these up, checking for square, and using the block to make sure the bottom rail is spaced consistently. To reinforce the butt joints, I'm going to use dowels. I've created this jig to mark out where the holes will need to be drilled. Clamping the guide in place, I can use the same drill bit, used to drill the holes, and use a hammer to mark where each hole will be drilled. Then, doing my best to keep the drill straight, I drill out each hole. I rough cut the dowel to oversized lengths and then glue them into place. Once dried, I come back with a flush cut saw, trim each dowel and finish it off with a good sanding. Before I glue the larger dowels in place, I'm going to whitewash the sides. I mix in chalk paint and water in roughly a 50-50 ratio and stir it with my special paint stirring stick. I'm slapping it on quite sparingly and then wiping off the excess. Now the sides are dry, I can glue up the large dowels which I've already cut to length. Using clamps and right angles, I've positioned the sides roughly in place. And then adding glue to each semicircle and placing each dowel in place, ensuring they all line up at each end and I'm cleaning up any squeeze out with some baby wipes. I'm then doing the same with the top shelf, adding blocks and clamps while the glue dries. Now the glue is dry, I'm back in the finishing shed to add a coat of clear spray lacquer on both the sides and the rails. And voila, here it is. 
So the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that it's slightly different than it was before. I decided I didn't like the way the legs stuck out the sides, so I precariously trimmed them on the table saw. Also, the whitewash didn't quite look how I wanted it to when I'd applied the varnish, so I decided to paint the whole thing with some white chalk paint. Until next time, stay safe and follow your passion.